That's a weird one. I don't know what that is. I need to get in here and weed.
Callie. Come on. Grapes. It's Cali. I'm not more than nothing yet. Come on. Callie. Okay, I got a, a nice surpri surprise. Um, I got more plants in the mail today. Two of them, they arrived at the same time. And this one, it gets red in the leaves. It's like an elephant ear, but it's not a caladium. Um, it's got another name. And it's like more like an actual elephant ear. Um, I've got one. I've got a couple around here somewhere. Oh well. <laughs> there's, there's just so many plants. Um, well. I've shown you all before. But yeah. Um. Eleven years. Uh, um. Geez. Uh, those are philodendrons. Um, a Swiss cheese leaf is this one there. You can see all the holes in the leaves. And the one beside it is another type of philodendron. Um, it was all growing the one way, so I turned it so it would get it would grow toward the light more. So, oh, there's a black elephant ear. Okay, that's the type that this is, but it's got red and white. It looks like anyway. And this one is a Australian fern tree, I believe. Um, I don't have a tag on it. But yeah, it's a fern tree. And let me unwrap these. What they look like. Alright. So, here's... Uh, once again, the elephant ear. And this is the uh, fern tree. Doesn't much look like a tree to me. I hope it grows into one. And, uh, so there you have it. I'm going to repot them. 
and right now you might get to hear it it's thundering and uh sounds like a storms are coming but um yeah i need to get these repotted okay i'm sitting down right now in front of this big basket container um full of plants and junk there's an extension cord and just whatever um but we have this nice patio excuse me working on getting it fixed up let me show you a little bit around and uh while i'm working here um it's like there's no place to set anything tables are all filled with plants everywhere and there's no place to set a drink or anything or if i wanted to work on a craft i couldn't do it but albert got up the gumption and a good idea so i'm working on it <laughs> he, he got the idea and i'm working on it this time i had bought these tiles a long time ago and i had intentions on putting them in the floor and it just never happened they make a medallion a big medallion like oops and albert got the idea cutting a big piece of plywood big old piece of plywood and let me let me get this up here putting it on top of the basket and covering it with tiles doing that medallion on a tabletop it would be weatherproof pretty much and some place to set your drinks or I don't know whatever you want it to do but a nice coffee table and it's light enough plus I want to put wheels on the very bottom and make it so you can just slide it around if we needed a place to get through it's a little narrow through here so we just slide the table wherever we need it to be out of the way so right now <clears throat> I'm wanting to get this done. <laughs> now Albert grabbed me a electric sander from uh, the basement and I'm doing some sanding. I'm sanding the edges of it smooth and this is going to be the bottom side because it's got this little bad place that you know how plywood does. A knot came out or something and it won't work with the tiles then so i'm just gonna we're gonna put this on the bottom and i'm going along i don't know if you can see i'm smoothing off the edges to avoid getting splinters and stuff and then i'm gonna stain the edges with gray because of the color of the tiles and then add the tiles on top so I'll show you steps as I go along. Okay, after uh, several uh, <laughs> sandpaper tears, I'm around on my third side. I just spilled my coffee. I was sitting down here, and I might have to start over here on this side. But I got that back side and this side over here sanded. I just wanted to sand off the edges a bit make it oh, make it smooth so you wouldn't get splinters then I'm gonna stain it gray and uh, you'll see what 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 comes next okay um, finally done the sanding got my my edges nice and just rounded off it's still a little rough, but um, yeah, I just wanted to round it off just a little bit. And I'm going to take and flip this then. This is will be the bottom now. Okay, and there's midnight. <laughs> okay, um, I would have stained this today, but I, I know, I hear you. 
as you can see it's rainy out and just kind of a miserable day it's cold too so I'm afraid the stain wouldn't dry right so I'm gonna wait till it warms up and dries out just a little bit before I get back to that um, I have several projects in the works um, this this stand I made last year the middle wasn't doing too good yeah you want to go inside and the papers I had printed out for it they look it looked neat at the time but they kind of got wet and went to fall out and then the shelves the blocks I had holding them up the uh, shelves the blocks fell out and now the shelves are falling and so I'm gonna do something with this stand that I hope will be pretty cool and now the sun's trying to come out and midnight's looking all cutesy on the couch love see anyway I brought you out here I brought you out here to see now there's three of them open in case you're wondering that's the dragon headlight wondering what this ball is hanging down there and there's that plant Ooh. Stuff's, uh, stuff's starting to park up and look good. And Albert planted that basket. My succulent pot's looking good that I planted. Oh, got a fern tree. It's supposed to be a fern tree. They get like stalks coming up with uh, ferns growing out the top. And uh, crown of thorns is blooming. I love the, love this type of crown of thorns. It's so different. Oh, let me take you around here. Full bloom and I do love these little flowers I think they're so pretty little tiny you can see there's an ordinary petuni these are little tiny ones must be the new thing coming out They're looking good. Thing on the leaves on the one in the middle looks like they've been scorched. They'll probably drop off, but new ones will grow back. These things just, they love the sun and they love this rainy weather. It's pretty. It's so purple, it's almost black. Anyway, I don't know, just wanted to show you. Show you those flowers in bloom. Let me show you again. Okay. All right. <laughs> Today's nice, it's sunny, and it's dried out, so I'm going to be staining. Albert found me some gray stain. Uh, well, <laughs> I need to work on this. Okay, got it open. It's, it's just gray, that's all. Just a gray stain. 
and I'm just going to go around and paint the edges of this. So, here it goes. Okay, there's one edge done. I might give it another coat. Um, let me see if I can get better lighting. It's light as can be out here, but anyway, you get the idea. But then I saw there's these little holes showing up on the side. I don't know if you can see them, which I'm not happy about. I might end up going back and filling them in, or I don't know. We'll have to see. Meanwhile, I'm going to go on with my other sides and decide when I get to the end. Okay, that's one coat done on all sides. I'm getting ready to do a second. Wrap my brush up in a baggie to keep it from drying out. Little tip, little tip there, folks. <laughs> if you have a brush and you're painting and you're stopping in between, just wrap it in a plastic wrap or a baggie. And, of course, I had it folded up and sealed better. But, um, you know what I mean. It'll keep your brush moist from drying out in between jobs. And then you can do whatever afterwards to uh, clean it out if you want to clean your brush. But, little tip. Okay, I got the second coat on. Could I have sanded better? Yes. I could have. Oh, there's midnight. Hey, midnight. Yeah. You don't want to get that paint on you. You gonna get that paint on you, that stain. Oh, oh, midnight. Hold on a second. Well, I was gonna film it, but Albert beat me to it. <laughs> he got out here and had that thing slapped on. He used, uh, uh, oh, what in the heck is that called? Damn. Liquid nail, yeah, liquid nail. I couldn't think of that name. He used liquid nail and put the tiles down. So now they have their, you still can't see it very good. Let me go over here and show you the gray edges that I painted yesterday. And, eh. It's almost the same color gray. Yeah, it's almost the same color. But there you have it. And uh, let me stand back and you can see the doggy and the base, the basket base. Now what we're going to do is put little L's L brackets um, on the underside just to hold it in place on top of the basket we're not going to screw it to the basket we just want them to hang down like on the inside or outside of the basket to hold it to keep it from sliding but that's all it's pretty weighty so it's not going to go anywhere unless you put something really heavy on a corner and everything but uh, yeah I think it looks pretty cool what do you all say <laughs> She's over it. <laughs> See the mess she makes? <laughs> this floor was clean. <laughs> she got the frog. She chewing up the frog. Hi Callie, you, you tearing up that frog? Yeah, good prog. Mmm. Oh, that's a cute picture. You can see a little tail wagon.
Oh, okay. I'll stop filming. Callie is very well fed. In fact, she lets us know. <laughs> she brought her bowl over here from across the room over there where that water dish is and set it down right there. Giving us the hint. Hey, don't chew it up. Callie, don't chew it up. She is well fed. <laughs> I mean, look at that belly. Oh. Oh. Let me zoom back out. Oh. Yeah. We normally end up feeling bad and wanting to give her more, but look at that belly. You can see the belly now. She's not malnourished at all. In fact, there's little bits of crackers and Dog, well, dog biscuit and everything else that she's gotten today.